greatest attempt. If you are struggling to do this rate at this moment, it is probably best to plan your future pulls plan so you can get the required units to achieve the clear. Now let's cover the mechanics of the raid boss. For the first phase, you will be fight the red debuffer Plechidna. is an AOE HP attack. If the boss is in power attribute state, it will attacks after granting a 100% increased damage dealt buff upon using the attack. The boss have the following innate passives. Similar to all major bosses, it has immunity to status ailments. This current variant of Plechidna has immunity against reduced mobility, mobility depletion along with reduced speed debuffs. In short, you cannot cheese the fight with the infamous mobility drain team. The boss will grants itself Berserk once the battle has taken 40 turns. Berserk will result the boss raises its all attack stats and accuracy by 300%. You cannot block or dispel the buff. When Berserk is present, the boss attacks will gain 100% increased defense penetration. The boss will also remove any active immortality, barrier, or invulnerability buff before it attacks. In short, if you let the boss activate Berserk and give it a turn, it is a game over. The boss will get inflicted with 35% increased damage taken upon being attacked by an enemy at an attribute advantage. Please do take note that if you are able to target attribute weakness, your damage on the following turn will be greatly enhanced. The boss will grant itself a 90% reduced damage taken buff upon being attacked by an enemy of the same attribute or an enemy at an attribute disadvantage. This will negate the next attack output. Now let's cover phase 2. For the second phase, you will be fighting a green attacker Plechidna. Plechidna goes into a casting state for a fixed number of turns and then attacks with a powerful skill. Try to upgrade your allies to increase defense, reduce damage taken, etc. to defeat it. Similar to phase 1, the Plechidna can changes its type whenever it received damage from your party. The attribute changes from red power to blue technique to green sense and back to red power once you complete the cycle. Similar to all major bosses, it has immunity to status ailments, silence, and total silence mechanics. The first skill is Red Rain which is an AoE attack. If it is attacking a technique or blue mage, it will inflict a 50% reduced defense debuff on the target. The second skill is non-attacking ability body enhancement which will result the boss grant itself an increased speed level 3 buff for 3 turns. The third skill is Catastrophe which is an AoE HP which causes the boss to grant itself an increased all attack level 1 buff after it initiates the attack. Its special 3 Imugis Judgment is an AoE HP attack. If the boss is in power attribute state, it will attack after granting itself an increased 100% damage buff. The boss enter into a charging phase on its second turn. The charging phase will last for 3 boss turns save your barrier and damage mitigation buffs on second or last turn of the charging phase so you can time the buffs correctly to tank its attacks. Similar to phase 1, the boss have the same set of innate passives. With the basic boss mechanics covered, let's proceed to desucks on the boss buffs. For this raid, we will be introduced to the concept of boss buffs effect. As the name implies, 
the boss buff will give the boss skills more effects which will make the fight difficulty a lot harder. You can select boss buffs at the battle preparation screen and receive additional rewards based on the number of selected buffs. Available boss buffs change randomly every day. One day boss buff effects apply to phase 1 while another day could be applied to phase 2. The table on the left shows the number of raid coins for each part and the number of conditions you have activated. If you activated 0 to 2 boss buffs, there won't be any raid coin bonus. The bonus will starts from 3 boss buffs onwards. The rewards of the coins will also accumulate. For example, if you clear part 3 raid with 4 boss buff conditions,
Ah! Yeah! 